If you're waiting for a housing market crash in 2024, well, I got news for you, not gonna happen. So given that, if you're thinking the housing market is gonna crash in Florida specifically, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Now on the other side of that, if you think that house prices are gonna skyrocket, I got news for you, I don't think that's gonna happen either. I think that the market that we're moving into is gonna look similar to 2023 with shades of 22 and 21. So what do I mean by that? Well, interest rates are projected to actually go down, which would mean supply would actually go up because those people will be selling their homes because they can get into a lower interest rate. That ultimately looks like 2023 because those two things are going to be a net zero. They're going to level out. And what do I mean by 2021 and 2022? I think that as people start to sell their homes up north with those lower interest rates coming, they're going to be able to move those. They're going to come down here to Florida and that inventory is going to be gobbled up. All right, so Redfin says that home affordability is the lowest it's been in 11 years. Well, why is that? Well, interest rates have gone up, so the price of money costs more. Also, wages have not gone up, and that inflation that everybody keeps talking about keeps going up. So the bananas cost more, the money costs more, everything costs more, which means that housing affordability is down. Now, what we're seeing is a lot of people standing on the sidelines waiting for these interest rates to go down. Well, we'll think about it like this. That is demand, pent up demand. People are waiting for these interest rates to drop so they can jump in. What do you think is going to happen when those interest rates drop? People are going to jump in. That's where I'm talking about those shades of 21 and 22. You're going to see a spike in demand, especially here in Florida. People that have been staying in their houses for a long time because they're in those low interest rates, they're gonna be selling and there's gonna be buyers out there as well. So it's gonna be kind of like 2023, but I think there's gonna be that shades of 21 and 22 because of all that pent up demand. So what does that mean for you? If you're one of those people waiting on the sideline, waiting for those interest rates to come down, don't you think that other people are doing that as well? Now what you wanna do is you wanna be ahead of that. Be thinking about, hey, if you want to move, move now. Now, with all this being said, I've been in the business now for 20 years, and I've only seen one crash. That crash was a result of a mortgage crisis. This is not a mortgage crisis. Defaults are actually at an all-time low. So we are at the highest interest rates we've been in almost three decades. So they've actually stopped the interest rates increasing and actually interest rates are projected to drop next year. Supply is actually relatively low here in Florida. In a lot of the areas, we're actually still in a seller's market. So over these 20 years, what I have seen is I've heard people say, I'm waiting for it to crash, I'm waiting for it to crash, I'm waiting for it to crash. You know what it hasn't done? Crash. What it's done is it's continued to gone up, but we have had these spikes like we had in 2022, and then it just went a little bit flat in 2023. I think as we move into 2024 and these interest rates go down, I do think we're gonna see prices increase, and I think supply that's already stressed and low continue to drop. Now, this is why this video is so important. Now, a national housing survey actually recently indicated that 14% of people believe that it's a good time to buy. That means that 86% of people think it's not. Now, I wanna quote one of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett. You buy greed and you sell fear. What does that mean? When people are fearful, they're running, so you wanna be buying. On the other side, when they're greedy, you want to be selling. This is what's going on here. So if most people think it's not a good time to buy, it shows you that thinking like Warren Buffett is actually going to get you ahead. So right now, what does that mean? I think it's a good time to buy before the rush comes in 2024. Not the 2021-22 rush, but I think it's definitely going to start to pick up more significantly as these interest rates go down there's gonna be more affordability, which these people are saying has a low affordability, so you wanna be buying now, and then you can always refinance. Now let's talk about what does housing affordability mean? Ultimately what that is, there's an old saying that you marry the house and you date the rate. So if we think that interest rates are gonna go down and you see a house out there that you absolutely love, what you can do is you can get in at a little bit at that higher interest rate. For instance, right now, I actually just made a bid on a home. I got quoted a 7.125 interest rate. Now, yeah, I'm looking at it going, oh gosh, a couple of years ago it was 3%. Well, now I'm thinking, okay, if I think interest rates are gonna go down and I think that prices are going to go up, I will marry that house that I want 
And then as interest rates go down, I will refinance into it. So I'm marrying the house and I'm dating the rate. So I want you to kind of think about this as a marathon. I'm gonna tell you a little story here. My father actually suggested that I buy a house a year for 20 years. Now looking back, there was that little bit of a glitch in 2008, there's a little bit more than a glitch. That being said, when I think of this as a marathon, if I had bought a house a year over the last 20 years, and there's a saying in the stock market, the dollar cost average. If you bought the S&P every day for the last 20 years, you'd be up significantly. The same with a home. I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm actually getting in on a home at a 7.125 interest rate, and I'm looking at next year, those interest rates to drop, I do believe then prices will increase and then I will be able to refinance. That being said, I can afford the home even if prices did not increase and even if mortgage rates didn't decrease. Even in that, I ultimately believe that people are still gonna be moving to Florida as these years go on and more of the baby boomers retire, they're gonna be selling those homes up north. And if none of those conditions change, I think that prices would still continue to increase. So what's my point here? My point here is now is a great time to buy. Why is that? Well, if 14% of people say it's a good time to buy and that 86% think it's not, I'm gonna to offer to be a little bit more of a contrarian and actually buying that fear, moving now before before the whole crowd starts to move, that pent up demand and as interest rates drop, think about it, people are gonna pop in, you might be one of them. So what are you afraid of? I think like most of us, we're afraid to make a mistake. So for me, over the years, what I've tried to do is study experts. I've tried to study the people that have actually made money in ups and down markets. That being said, that's looking at data and that's understanding trends. And what we're seeing ahead here is a trend, which most of the experts are saying that these interest rates are going to drop and that would increase prices by lowering supply and increasing demand. So what do you think? I'd love to hear from you on what your thoughts are, maybe what your fears are. And by the way, if you'd like to reach out to me, have a conversation, we can go over some of this data and go over some of the concerns that you might have about buying now. In the end, you might wanna put yourself more into that contrarian. Those 86% that believe it's not a good time to buy, you don't wanna be in that camp. You wanna be in the camp of the people that have looked at it as a marathon and over year after year after year, bought assets, bought securities, and a home at the end of the day is probably the best asset that you can have as an individual. So looking forward to the conversation. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.